Hey everybody, Peter here with another Goody Reader unboxing video. This is the Nook Glow Light. This just came out November of this year, 2013. And this is the box and we're just gonna show you front and back sides and then we're gonna go into an unboxing video and then we will show you a full review in an upcoming video on our YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. Gonna crack this open or tear this open, I suppose. They're going with their whole bar of soap look like they did with the Nook HD. So I guess we'll see how this turns out. And it looks like it's a, uh, oh, I see. Ah, oh, what? Oh, opened it upside down. Ha, there we go. I hope that's not bad luck. So we're gonna leave the reader till the end here. We're gonna look at the rest of the box. And then we'll bring out the reader. So we have Welcome to Your Nook Glow Light, Quick Start Guide, information on how to use it, what things do, how to turn the glow light on, and all that. So that is important information if you've never used an e-reader or you've never used a Nook before. Hold on to that. Then you have your USB cable. USB in one end goes to your reader, and USB in the other end goes into your PC, laptop, or wall charger, apparently sold separately in this particular device. And here is the box. It totally looks like this should be the front, but it's not, that's the, that's the back. Huh, that's kind of weird. So, where is the glow light? Here it is. So we're just gonna look at this and then we will go into a first time boot up. So, not too much of a fan of the look of it, but uh, maybe they watched our unboxing video because they seem to have put this soft rubber outside. It actually um, uh, looks very childish, actually. Um, I know we've seen a lot of comments about people saying it looks quite childish, but I, it actually does. And it seems to be able to come off here, so you see it's actually removable quite easily, I might add. Actually, it doesn't take much to take this off. As you can see there comes right off so I bet when you it's actually yeah it's quite bouncy so we have the screen of course it is dropped in the device it's not flush like the Kobo um, Aura 6 we have a status indicator light we have a micro USB port for the micro USB cable of course that came with it and we have the embossed end on the back that nice soft rubber on the back of the device very nice feel to it and looks like we have a power button and nothing else. So let's do a first time boot up. And I hope that logo there doesn't mean charge your nook and looks like we got some juice. Perfect. Depending on how long the setup takes, we might do a quick cut and come back to you because we know that a lot of the times it asks for Wi-Fi passwords, authentication, Barnes and Noble passwords and all that fun stuff. Looks like we have 45%. Kind of like how they tell you to agree to the terms because it's not like you can disagree. If you disagree, you can't use your device you just bought. So, of course you agree to them. Checking connection. Maybe we'll be able to skip this. We will not. So we're going to go ahead and set this all up and come back once we get to the home screen. So we've set up everything we needed to set up, Barnes & Noble account, Wi-Fi, and that's about it. it. says you can start reading, learn more about your Nook, of course. If you press and hold the N, which is the same color as the back, I'm not a big fan of that. I kind of liked when the uh, bezel beside the screen was gray, and then you could actually see that the N was black. It offered some nice contrast, whereas this is white on white. kind of looks a little weird. If you press and hold the and the glow light turns off. Press and hold it again for about two seconds. The glow light turns on. Something I'm not a big fan of is that, come on, this is Android, so if you scroll down, it actually has the same kind of feel to it as Android. You can see on camera that it looks blue. This is actually not a trick of the light. It 
is kind of blue. Uh, not really seen before, uh, usually on camera because of the white balance. Um, some of our videos like the Kobo War and all that looks kind of blue. This one's actually blue. Um, well, not like harsh blue, don't get me wrong, but it's bluer than pretty much any other glow light we've seen. And it's kind of strange how it's so dang blue. <laughs> it doesn't look like they've done too much to really improve on the glow lights. And I'm, yeah, I'm really kind of disappointed because the paper whites very very nice compared to this one this one looks very blue actually the back isn't gray or white or anything um it's actually uh it's ha it has a lot of a lot of light blues and purples in it so not the biggest fan of the glow light uh, it looks like page turns are okay let's see long presses of course we'll get into a full review uh, in a later video so don't worry yeah it looks like everything's pretty responsive for the most part but the glow light I mean this is called the Nook glow light now it's not the big mouthful the Barnes & Noble simple touch e simple touch reader with glow light this one's the Nook glow light so watch our full review I'm sure we will experiment with this more and find out so much more about it check out our YouTube channel youtube.com slash goody reader or you can go to goodyreader.com for all the latest reviews interviews previews reviews and everything in the e-reader tablet and digital publishing world and for a goodie reader this is peter with an unboxing of the nook glow light